She means the world to me, man. I honestly don't know what I would do without her. She's done everything for me. She's held down the house. She's done her job. She's somebody that I can count on day in and day out. And she's the kind of person that has never and will never let me down. And I know that. She's beautiful and she, just, she lights up any room that she's in. So cool. He's very caring and he's very kind and patient. He's a man of God. Early on in our relationship, he wanted to take me to church and stuff, and I was really scared because I, I had not been to church since I was a little girl. I didn't want anything to do with it, and I loved it. Before I met Clayton, I wasn't I wasn't into my faith or anything like that. I really didn't think anything of that aspect of my life. The person that he is every single day is just the person that I want to be with. My brain is like moving a million miles a minute right now thinking of everything that I love about him. He gives me like head scratches and I'll fall asleep. Like little things like that. And they just mean so much to me. He's so patient. I love everything about him and he means so much to me. As this couple begins their lives together on their wedding day, I pray that their hearts will unite as one with you in their desire to make you the center. May this day be the start of something beautiful, a celebration unlike any other. Did it take it off? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Of course. If there is anyone here that feels that these two should not be married, I'd like to ask you to uh, raise your hand so we can have you escorted out of the venue. <laughs> I, Clayton. I, Clayton. Take you, Lynette. Take you, Lynette. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. My constant friend. My constant friend. My faithful partner. My faithful partner. And my love from this day forward. And my love from this day forward. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. Our family and friends. Our family and friends. I offer you my solemn vow. I offer you my solemn vow. To be a faithful partner. 
be a faithful partner in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in joy and in sorrow, and in life as well as in death, and in life as well as in death. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to love you unconditionally. To honor and respect you. To honor and respect you. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. And cry with you. And cry with you. And to cherish you both. And to cherish you both. In this life. In this life. And the next. And the next. Good job. Thank you. I got it. That was awesome. One down. <laughs> One down. <laughs> I, Lynette. I, Lynette. Take you, Clayton. Take you, Clayton. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. My constant friend. My constant friend. My faithful partner. My faithful partner. And my love from this day forward. And my love from this day forward. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. Our family and friends. Our family and friends. I offer you my solemn vow. I offer you my solemn vow. To be your faithful partner. To be your faithful partner. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In life as well as in death. In life as well as in death. It's a long time. <laughs> I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to love you unconditionally. To honor and respect you. To honor and respect you. <laughs> to laugh with you and cry with you. To laugh with you and cry with you. And to cherish you both. And to cherish you both. In this life and in the next. In this life and in the next. Please take Lynette's ring, place it on her ring finger, and repeat after me. Lynette. Lynette. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. All that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of God. In the name of God. Lynette, if you want to take Clayton's really big ring. <laughs> Clayton. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of God. In the name of God. Do you, Clayton, take Lynette to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. I'm sorry, what? I do. <laughs> do you, Lynette, take Clayton to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. By the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church, and by the state of Texas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Oh my God! <laughs> It is my honor to present to you the newly married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Clayton and Lynette Grinch. <laughs> started in California. He was a football player at Long Beach and I was a cheerleader. And I always wanted to come and back here, but I got to go to school. So I stayed there and I met him and he tried and tried and tried and I went, <laughs> I didn't give him the time of day for a little bit. And then finally we started dating. We went out one night and he told me, I'm gonna get a scholarship because all these schools are looking at him and then we're gonna have to break it. And he said, cause I don't want to hold you. But you know, we were like, okay, well, we'll just keep just dating while we're here, it'll be fun. I knew she was the one the moment I got my scholarship to New Mexico State, and it was taking me back to where her family was. I was pretty sure at that moment that she was the one, but then she got on the cheerleading team at New Mexico State while I was playing football there. I just looked casually at NMSU, and my credit transferred, and I actually tried out for the cheer team there, and I made it. So that was a done deal. It was like, okay, now we're both back where your family is, and it was like God was speaking to me, saying like, hey, dummy, you know, pay attention. Like, this is the one. taught me how to be humble. One thing that I've learned with her more than anything is that sometimes I'm wrong and how to actually be wrong and to admit that I'm wrong as opposed to just being stubborn. And she's taught me that really well. So, I mean, it's been good for both of us.
I can say is that my love for you has only gotten stronger. You are my rock in this world. I don't know what I would do without you. We've grown older and more mature, but only closer to each other. Love, Clayton. about our life and I'm excited to have fun and get right back to the way our life is because it's perfect the way it was before we were married and it'll be perfect when we are married. I love you very much. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. You mean the world to me. I love you more than anything.